For more than 50 years, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has been at the vanguard of human space exploration. From Alan Shepard's first suborbital flight to Neil Armstrong's dramatic first steps on the lunar surface, from Ed White's first spacewalk to the world's first and only reusable spacecraft, from the on-orbit servicing of satellites and the Hubble Space Telescope to the most complex engineering project in the history of mankind, NASA has been the pathfinder for space exploration. The agency is also developing advanced space exploration technologies and core infrastructure as it moves forward with the Constellation program and the return to the moon and onto Mars. Yet the greatest obstacle to the exploration and utilization of our solar system is the high cost of space transportation. To date, no government or private effort has resulted in a solution for this problem. Once the solution is found, commercially viable low-cost space transportation will be as transformative to the world's economy as the invention and development of the airplane. NASA has developed an experimental program that is serving as a catalyst for new ideas, new technology, and a new way of doing business by engaging the innovation, imagination, and drive of American industry. Managed by NASA's Commercial Crew and Cargo Program, or C-3PO, the program is known as COTS, the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Project. Unlike the aviation industry, the commercial development of space and space transportation systems has not progressed at a very rapid pace. The C-3PO COTS program will enable the creation of new commercial space transportation systems and demonstrate capabilities to provide cost-effective transportation services to orbit. With a walk-before-running incremental strategy, the C-3PO COTS project's initial focus is on helping the private sector develop and demonstrate space cargo transportation capabilities and eventually crew transportation capabilities. As part of the agency's ongoing efforts to transfer NASA technology to the private sector, NASA is using Space Act agreements to provide financial and technical assistance to two companies, Orbital Sciences Corporation and SpaceX, or Space Exploration Technologies. This uh, was set out from the beginning not to be a traditional research and development cost contract. This was going to be a, a partnership. We're sharing uh, the cost, we're sharing the risk. And we're like a lead investor. We're providing financial assistance. We have $500 million over three or four years uh, for two partners who've won competitions to earn that right. And the way we're set up is that we have fixed price performance milestones. Uh, we're not in their day-to-day -day business, that when they meet these, these milestones with these objective success criteria, they receive additional funding from NASA. Another unique aspect of the COTS partnership arrangement is technology transfer. The commercial partners have ready access to NASA expertise developed over more than five decades. NASA has 50 years of human spaceflight experience. We're trying to help our commercial partners, and so we've created uh, a team of agency experts we call CATS, for the COTS advisory team. We have CATS in Gene and C, propulsion, power, over 30 disciplines are being represented, and over 100 uh, NASA experts. We try to help them wherever possible, give them a lot of background information and lessons that NASA's learned over the years, um, experience that we've had in spaceflight, where things just work differently than you'd expect them to. In a separate commercial industry competition, the ISS commercial resupply services market is also offered up to the private sector with potential revenue in the hundreds of millions of dollars each year. Uh, ultimately, what we're hoping to buy from these folks is the ability to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. Uh, to do that, you need a rocket and you need a transfer vehicle, um, which is ultimately a spacecraft or a satellite that, that goes over to the space station. NASA did not dictate design solutions. Rather, overall performance objectives were established with the International Space Station serving as a representative orbital destination. The COTS partners had maximum latitude to freely innovate and optimize their launch vehicle and spacecraft designs and operations. So we had the need, we had some seed money, we had the interest, and we had the technical expertise, and you put that all together with some very capable uh, suppliers and providers 
then we had the basis for what could be a very successful program. In 1982, uh, two friends and I started Orbital Sciences Corporation, uh, and our purpose in doing that was to uh, create a set of uh, uh, space systems and launch vehicles that could make uh, doing things in space a lot less expensive, and as a result could open up uh, to more practical benefits on Earth, the, the kinds of uh, uh, technology that NASA had pioneered during the early uh, decades of our country's space program. Orbital Sciences Corporation is an industry leader in small, affordable space and rocket systems. Orbital provides small geosynchronous Earth orbit satellites for communications and broadcasting, low Earth orbit spacecraft that perform remote sensing and scientific research, and planetary probes to explore deep space. The company also builds lightweight launch vehicles that transport satellites into orbit, target rockets used to test missile defense systems, and interceptor booster vehicles that are deployed to protect against enemy missile attack. With a 98% success rate on over 150 major space and rocket missions in the last seven years, Orbital's operational experience includes more than 575 satellites, launch vehicles and other space-related systems delivered to customers since 1982. Orbital's COT system design for cost-effective, reliable space transportation is based on the new Taurus II rocket. With a LOX kerosene first stage powered by Aerojet AJ-26 engines, the Taurus II second stage is ATK's Castor 30 solid propellant motor derived from their flight-proven Castor 120. The spacecraft system bus is derived from Orbital's Heritage Dawn and Star spacecraft. The space cargo carriers, known as CVVs, or COTS visiting vehicles, are derived from International Space Station cargo carriers. The key, as well as development of the visiting vehicle, is to have to invent the least amount possible. So we're trying to use existing engines, tanks from an existing supplier, uh, a few things we're going to have to develop, such as the solid motor for the second stage. Avionics are all from existing launch vehicles. Orbital's COT system will be capable of delivering all types of cargo to the International Space Station, and a planned demonstration flight is scheduled for late 2010. Established in 2002 by Elon Musk, the founder of PayPal and the Zip2 Corporation, Space Exploration Technologies, also known as SpaceX, is well into the development of two brand new launch vehicles and has already established an extensive launch manifest. And the COST program is like, this is, that's was very clear about, this is what we want. We're not gonna tell you how to get there. We'll give you help along the way if you, if you ask for it, which we've gotten a lot of help and appreciate that. Um, uh, but, you know, rather than over constrain the problem, that, that this is an experiment in removing a lot of the constraints, so I think it's going to turn out to be a very successful uh, experiment. SpaceX's philosophy is that simplicity, low cost, and reliability can go hand in hand by eliminating the traditional layers of management internally and subcontractors externally. SpaceX reduces costs while increasing the speed of decision making and delivery. By keeping the majority of manufacturing in-house, SpaceX reduces costs, keeps tighter control of quality, and ensures a tight feedback loop between the design and manufacturing teams. Concentrating on simple, proven designs with a primary focus on reliability, SpaceX reduces the costs associated with complex systems operating at the margin. We try to study what's been done before, what's worked and what hasn't, uh, and we had the advantage of starting with an absolute clean sheet design. So we could pick the best ideas from across the board and put them together in a, in a new way, in a unique way. Although drawing upon a rich history of prior launch vehicle and engine programs, SpaceX is developing the Dragon cargo and crew capsule and the Falcon family of rockets from the ground up, including main and upper stage engines, the cryogenic tank structure, avionics, guidance and control software, and ground support equipment. SpaceX launch vehicles and spacecraft are designed for refurbishment and reuse, making them the world's first fully reusable launch vehicles. 
SpaceX has already demonstrated their ability to successfully launch their own spacecraft. On September 28, 2008, the company made history when its Falcon 1, designed and manufactured from the ground up by SpaceX, became the first privately developed liquid fuel rocket to launch a spacecraft to orbit. The Dragon cargo and crew capsule that SpaceX is developing for COTS will revolutionize access to space by providing efficient and reliable transportation of space cargo and eventually crew to ISS and other low Earth orbit destinations. SpaceX's COTS cargo transportation demonstration flights will begin in 2009 and conclude with a third demonstration to the ISS in 2010. The next logical step is how do we get more people into space? Because it is a wonderful experience that I would like for more people to, to see, experience, and, and, and understand. Um, and, and the ability of people to eventually go into space the way they now go into the air, go onto the surface of the ocean, even go under the ocean, I think is coming. The problem of access to space for people as well as machines has to be solved. It has to become much cheaper, much more routine, much more reliable, much more like getting on an airplane or getting in a car. Human space flight is very much the goal. I, I wouldn't be happy unless we are doing you know, human space flight, doing it reliably, doing it frequently. From Lewis and Clark to the commercial aviation industry, government has often provided the initial impetus for the exploration and development of new frontiers, followed by rapid commercial development and expansion once the trail is blazed. NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Project continues that tradition. As we deliver crew and cargo to low Earth orbit, government will be pathfinding to the moon and to Mars. Once those trails are blazed and the path is made, then it is, it is natural that you turn that over to industry, who can operate these services in, in what should be a more efficient manner and in and, uh, and a profitable manner. As NASA continues to push the boundaries of the space frontier, its C-3PO COTS program is creating partnerships with American industry that will enable cost-effective routine access to space that will transform our world.